right here, my fakers. Look at my flowy arms. This is my exercise for the day. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back all 10 of my subscribers. So today I want to show you guys how to make a scrunchie. And I'm doing that because that's what it is. Oh, there's like a bald spot. Just look at that. Don't look at my bald spot that I just pointed out. I'm going to show you guys how to make this scrunchie. And I've got these on here as well. I really just want to put them on and show you. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put them on and show you. Oh, I, sh I should have made it a transition. All right, all right. Hey. I can't see, so I hope you guys can see that one. And then these are my other ones. I feel like I've got like a mohawk thing going on here. So I've got such thin hair that won't work, but these are so, so great to make and they're really, really easy and they're a lot of fun. And they're like one of those sort of do it in front of the TV quickly. They're really cute gifts as well. So yeah, we'll get to it. Think of a transition. Maybe I'll like, I throw this like to the camera and then it's like, oh, on the next shot. Right, here we go. We'll try this one. I'll do another one. Oh, it's still me. Uh, let's do that again. Hey guys, so, oh, actually I didn't do the transition. Uh, hold on, oh, there's a hole. Transition! Yay! Alright, so to get started, what you'll need is your yarn here. So I've just got some spare yarn. This is yarn that I frogged and this is like a worsted weight yarn. It's like worsted weight to Aran weight yarn. And you'll need your needles obviously. So I've just used 5mm needles for mine. I use five millimeter needles on this and five millimeters on this. And this one, this yarn here was like a more of like a four ply yarn. I think that's fingering weight yarn for this as well. So honestly, like the gauge doesn't matter too much. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just whatever you decide you want to do. And I've got a stitch marker here and I've got my uh, need darning needles, I think some people say, or stitch needles. So you'll need these. I've also added in myself a little drinky and yeah, we'll get started. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just with my yarn, I'm just going to make a, uh, what is it called? A loop, just to loop it on. I've forgotten guys. I, I'll remember it and I'll write it down. And then I'm going to cast on and I use the backwards loop method. This one I cast on about um, 80 stitches. This one I went extra and I cast on like 120 stitches. Oh, you know what? You also need the most important part, some hair ties. And I should also say that I did this with a, basically an invisible seaming as well, because I wanted that classic scrunchy look. And I've done it here as well, where it's can't even, I don't, I don't know where the seam is. Whew. I just like ran to go open the door for my dog and I'm like buggered. I'm so tired right now. So now I'm going to cast on some stitches. So I cast on about 80 here. I think I'll do like, maybe I'll do a bit more. I'll do like 90 stitches this time. I'm going to be like so out there and cast on 90. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. On my stitches now and I'm just gonna join it in the round also I should have said that the reason I use the backwards loop method is because that at the end when you're seaming it won't give such like a, a bulky sort of seam when you put it together and it makes it a bit more invisible all right so now I've got all my stitches on so now you just knit in the round I just finished the first round here and then that's pretty much it guys you just knit for as long as you want so I would recommend about 
2.523 inches. I wonder what, I don't know what that is in centimeters. So six to seven point five centimeters is what that is. So I'm just gonna go and do that now. And I'm gonna put on community on my laptop here and watch that and do this for you guys. Okay, so I've finished that now. That's the length I want it. So I've got it at about 2.5 meters for this one. This one here I did at three meters, but I think I wanted it a little bit smaller. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to seam this up. When you finish, just cut off as much yarn as you want so you can seam it around I'm just gonna I'm gonna use a different color so I'm just gonna cut this off a bit shorter and then I'm gonna use this I'm just gonna use some white yarn that I have here just so you guys can see the seam a bit better and I'll cut off a length of this and then you grab your needle I might grab the blue one. Oh, and before I forget grab your elastic and you want to put it on the you want to turn it inside out so now I've got the inside facing me and then you just put this on just sort of like scrunch it up and pop it on Okay, so now we're going to join these live stitches to the cast on edge that we did here. And then the way we have to do it will create that seamless sort of look. So I'm going to use just my yarn here. So this is a bit fiddly. So I know some people put this like around a book or something so you can make it sort of like flutter and then you can steam it together a bit better but I'm just kind of lazy and I think I'll figure it out just like I like to I like to make it more difficult for myself so here I go so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our needle through this first live stitch here purlwise making sure that doesn't get tangled And I'll just leave a bit of a tail there. And then I'm going to pick up the first stitch up here. And it's going to be a knit stitch. So I sort of use the tail here as a guide to see where we started, like where we cast on. And it's going to be about, so it'll be your first V. So it was there, so it's going to be this one here you can see there that's the V there in the stitch so I'm going to put it through that and then I'm going to come back down here to the live stitches and I'm going to put my needle through that first stitch knit wise and slip that stitch off the needle and then 
Now I'm going to put this needle through that second stitch purlwise. And now I'm going to go back up top, grab the next stitch over. So you can see that was where the first stitch was with the V and then the next stitch is the next V here. And just put it through there. Like that. And then I'm going to go back to my live stitches, slip my needle through that first stitch knitwise, and slide it off, and then put it in that next, the second stitch, or like the next stitch on the needle, which is now the new first stitch, purlwise, like that. And just pull that through. And I'm going to go back up top, grab the next V stitch, the next knit stitch, which is there, and pull that through. Okay guys, so I am basically at the end now and I'm just going to weave in these ends. And I just sort of pull it through the gap here like that. So I just weave in this end just through no particular way. You can see now it's just going to sit on the inside and I'm going to just trim those off. So I'm going to pull it a bit there and then when you pull it, it will disappear into the scrunchie. And I'll do the same here. I'm going to pull it a bit. Oops. And then when I pull it, oh, it's gone. And then that's it, guys. That's the scrunchie. And you're just going to fix it up a bit. And so usually you wouldn't see this seam if you've done it in the same color and um, made it with similar tension. Then you won't see this white part here. Um, another thing is if you didn't really like the way you seamed it in the end, I just put this part to the inside so you can't see it when you have it on. So I just sort of pull at it from the other side or like the edge and then that way you have like that part facing out and the other facing in. So that's it guys, I really hoped you liked this little tutorial, um, I do DIY tutorials and also vlogs on my small business, which is obviously knitting. Yeah, if you enjoyed this, please let me know down below, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again, bye!